Hi, the topic in this tutorial is talking about this file here. We have made a tutorial about the menu, which is very important. We can change it ourselves. We've made a tutorial about key bindings, which is quite fun, like Control alt t It should start the GNOME terminal, but I don't want the GNOME terminal. I want to install later on the GNOME terminal transparent terminal. So that's not working yet. So any of these shortcuts are possible and it's all in here. But this tutorial is about auto start. Auto start is the little file that's going to be used by Openbox to see what do you want to auto start. Let's take another program to open it. And you see as well that you can choose open with, open with another application, choose the one you want and then here say use a default for this kind of file. Open. Here you can see all the things that are going to be installed. Uh, sorry, going to be in run. This is what used to be uh, when you log in to Bunsen Labs. This is text that's not for me. I kept it around. But this here already is changing something. It's to tell VirtualBox that my screen resolution is this size. So maybe you should point that out to you. It's always interesting to, to see um, why that applies. Come on guys, a bit smaller, like so, something like that, yeah. By the way, there are shortcuts and to make this 50-50, I use the Windows and then my keypad number four, numeric keypad. So now it's half and the same can go for this one, but I don't want that. What I want to do now is take a terminal like so, get this rid of this one and put it up here. So xRender, you can run this program, xRender, and we see what we're on. We have a screen, screen zero, minimum blah 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 current is my setting that I asked him to do maximum is this it's called VGA1 that's why the name is in here so if you have a system that's named differently then this line will not work so you need to know what's the name of my screen and change it here and you should also change it to a screen re resolution that exists but in this case it even is not in here but if you're on an actual screen, actually uh, not on VirtualBox, but on an actual screen, you should pop, on, pop in one of these things here that exist. Okay. This is going to turn off some system beeps. The numeric lock on is for my numeric keyboard path that I don't have to press num lock on every time when I reboot. So the light is on, my keyboard works. This is for my music, so the Blueberry tray. I have a Bluetooth connection with my headset. XF settings daemon is XFCE settings daemon. Dropbox start, you know what Dropbox is, cloud service. Plank is the thing that's going to be up here. Ah yeah, maybe interesting. Things that have this little sign behind it means run it and put it in the background. So keep it there, it's active, it's working, and keep it working. Not once, but keep it working. And then in sync is also Google Drive that's going to be synced to my system. Kind of cloud service as well. These have been taken over for the rates of the keyboard settings. Didn't change a thing. The same goes here for no caps, disable caps lock, that it's not on. Don't have a touchpad, I'm on a PC. So touchpad beginning, touchpad end. If you are on a laptop and you have a touchpad, you can check out what these do. Settings end. Mm -hmm. And here we start with all the fun. So Compton is a great way to display your windows and to manage your windows and the transparency and the dimming and the fading and, and, and all that kind of stuff. You check it out on my website. And if it's not included, if it's not set to go to the background, 
and it's not set to include my personal file it will look anyway for a file in here but if it does not find anything well it will apply its own personal thing it's written somewhere in etc but it's better to have our own settings and first maybe copy paste the standard settings and try to figure out one by one line by line see what the difference is so now we have copy pasted in the scripts in 600 uh, scripts with the personal folder there you have copy pasted mine so all these settings are applied as you can see the dimming and all that that's all done with Compton very interesting to go into detail about that wallpapers well at this point in time on I still love the wallpaper that's provided with uh, Arch Labs which is this wooden kind of thing and then the golden uh, logo which is quite cool but at some point in time of course I will have to uh, go to variety again which is a wallpaper changer so I'm not gonna use nitrogen to restore anything then I will use variety which is a small icon that's coming down here I'll make an other tutorial about that but at this point in time I say I like this wallpaper and I set it always so nitrogen set zoom fill on monitor one and a monitor two yeah and I know monitor one is zero and monitor two is one so I have the same wallpaper on both of them if you have just one uh, single monitor then use just one line of course but as you can see we are now on VirtualBox it has only one monitor there is no error or anything it just does not apply then I'm going to start TIN2 TIN2 is this under here the panel the black panel you see here with one two desktop one desktop two all the task bars buttons and all the system uh, icons and time we're gonna start from the music as well the audio I did not change it it's standard from Arch Labs this one I did change I'm setting my sound to 30% I don't want to put my headphone on and then break my my ears uh, split my ears in two I don't know so 30% is more than enough and then I'll put it louder if I want to and passes tray is this little icon here which just makes it easy for me to stream stuff to a particular device in my surroundings here Bluetooth okay the conky I don't want the conky to the start not the conky from Arch Lab I want this conky to start the conky from Ariola and this one specific has been created for Arch Lab as you can see it's the same color that I've used here and the same color that goes in the Windows Shift D which is a D menu and the same color applies everywhere and it's quite nice so this is the conky starting quietly in the back this one then I don't have a battery desktop clip it is this little icon here I don't want the sound so if you don't want the passes tray you might want this one Volti is for sound so you have this little button to change your sound and settings of sound I'm installing NM applets which is this little icon so the network connections disconnect and connect again GM run don't do it don't start it but GM run is always present it's uh, let's see well I don't know the shortcut anymore <laughs> so you go to display key bindings record uh, now in my head there are two kind of shortcuts the shortcuts that were used on uh, Arch Labs original one and the ones I've changed I don't know if I have changed the GM run but it's in here somewhere here it is alt F2 is my GM run I do think it's still yeah I think that's the original one alt F2 and then you say I don't know you type something like Firefox or Chromium and then you run a program like so screensaver don't want it so I put a hashtag in front of it and the welcome is gone I do believe these were already hashtagged out 
this was a caveat we have to change this this line will not work but this line will work so if you're watching this you'll have to do this manually if you don't want to use my scripts this is needed use a lipo kit gnome etc this is the one you want and not the other one and then some features for energy star features that are found on the net that i said hmm, might be interesting to have to disable these energy features or no in swing server okay so that's all if you need something else um, Dropbox is in there already in sync is in there already but things that you say I want to start that as well you can make your own uh, script to start uh, you can just ask him to start Spotify if you want to to boot with Spotify or Firefox on the only thing you have to add is tell him okay give me Firefox and put it to the back to the front um, background I mean voila voila and Spotify also and put it to the background and that's it and, and uh, each time you reboot this program will be launched as well so that's all about how to start I hope I was uh, clear I hope it was well, interesting and um, check out what you want to do hashtag out the ones you don't want keep them keep them around you never know but hashtag in front and it's it will not be applied and in this case if you save it it really means you have to shut down or log out log in but uh, you have to you can't just do it with reboot of open box you really need to do it again all right have fun uh, changing open box